And our crossing New Horizon is playable on your computer and it is absolutely amazing. My previous guide was taken down by Nintendo sadly, but it had more than 150,000 views. So while making your island, please do hit that subscribe button, it really helps out, it's free and you got nothing to lose. And you will get updates for all the latest emulation news. So with that said, let's get right into the guide. So before we start, I want to say there are two emulators you could use. There is Yuzu and there is Ryujinx. Most of the time Yuzu is a little bit faster and in Animal Crossing it really depends on your system. Uh, but the biggest upside of Yuzu is that you can make your own save. In Ryujinx you have to import a save. So for this guide I'm going to start the game in Yuzu. Then copy over these save files to Ryujinx because Ryujinx has two things going for it. First of all you got resolution scaling. Which is incredible because that way you can actually play at up to 8k. Not recommended, but at least 4k is really great. And the second thing about Ryujinx, it is a build for local wireless multiplayer. And this way you can use the local wireless feature online with anyone. So you can play with all your friends on your island, which is pretty cool on emulators. So first... Let's get started with Yuzu. I already got a pretty in-depth guide for Yuzu, so if you need a proper setup, go to that. But for now, let's imagine you already got it set up properly. So go to Yuzu, use the early access or Yuzu, these features are the same. And right before we are going to get into Yuzu, I want to say there are some mods for Yuzu to get it working properly. There are two mods, disable depth of field, and this will uh, get rid of the black fog or the black trees in the background. And you have a camera crash workaround and if you snap a photo in game it can crash and if you use this workaround it will not which is pretty great. And then there's ultrawide if you work on an ultrawide monitor and do want to test it out that is up to you. I personally don't and I haven't tried it. And do note the game versions it applies to so you do have to install at least some update for this to work. And the latest one is 1.5.1 which should work with all of these two. So now let's get back to Yuzu and right here we already got Animal Crossing and it is set up properly. So right click it and go to open mods data location and if you download the two mods I previously mentioned you got these two folders. So you got a mod called cache fix camera. If you go in it there will be an XFS and the same for disable depth of field it will also have an XFS. Make sure you do, you do not have multiple folders, so directly in this folder there should be an XFS, ROMFS, whatever. It has to be a mod folder. So now let's close this and let's get into updating the game. So to edit, again click add new game to library, it is really easy. And to update it, click file, install file to NAND. And here go to your update. So for me it is in Switch, then ROMs. And here's the update, you can double click it, click it and open, it will install to the user version. So this is basically the setup for user. there are a few settings I do want to change. If you got a general settings, that is totally fine. You can also right click this and here go to properties. And here you can also change all the settings independently, but I'm going to use the general settings, it is really up to you what you prefer. So multi-core CPU emulation is really useful because it actually has a great performance. Other stuff in here doesn't really matter. For system, this stuff doesn't really matter too much. If you want to have multiple people on your island, you can do so right here. Simply click add and if you boot the game with that account, it will work with that account. For the services, this is really important. Have this at none. If you have box get enabled, it will crash. So make sure to check it and click none right here. And file system doesn't really matter. CPU, this is for my full guide and if you want to know what it does, you can check my full guide. Graphics, also make sure to check my latest full guide. I did make a small mistake in the last one. Don't use assembly shaders and asynchronous shaders. If you have an Nvidia GPU, I recommend to use assembly shaders and if you don't, asynchronous it is. And of course for the graphics, Vulkan is better for AMD. But myself, I got Nvidia, so I'm going to use these settings right here. For the audio, I left them at the default. And for the controls, make sure you got a controller set up, have it connected so it does actually work. And this game does work properly in docked mode, so you could use that for a bit better quality. Now once that's all done, press OK. Double click the game and it should open up just like normal. 
So right now while it's launching, I will play until I can save the game so I can show you you can actually make a save game right here. Again, you cannot enter your Jinx. It is really sad. You can download the save file, but again, it is just better to do it this way. So that way you have your own save, your own island, your own character, which is just more fun to play with. So after I got the save, I will close Yuzu and show you how to set up Ryu Jinx. And then I will show you how to import the save from Yuzu to Ryu Jinx. So you can play online with all your friends on the Ryu Jinx emulator. So again, that's pretty cool and it doesn't require a lot of setup. So hey, why not do it? And we finally fall asleep again after completing the tutorial for like the eighth time already. Alright, so now Yuzu is finally done and we got our save. Let's stop emulation. And again, stop right here. Now do note, if you just want to use Yuzu and play like normal, that is absolutely okay and you can do so. But if you want resolution scaling up to 8K and also multiplayer sports, you might want to port your save file to Ryu Jinx. For this, right click this, click open, save data location, and here copy all of these. Now let's open up Ryu Jinx. Again, I will think that you have all already followed my Ryu Jinx guide, so it already is working. But if you haven't, there will be a quick section. And I do want to mention one thing. On Ryu Jinx site, here you can download the latest version. There's a Patreon version for the local wireless. This is not yet in the regular versions. So scroll down and here select Linux or Windows. For me, of course, I'm going to select Windows. Save it and open the folder after it's done. Now right click it, extract all, and it will extract. While it's extracting, let's go to Ryu Jinx, and this is the latest version, so I will show you how it is right there. And then I will show you how to use it in the multiplayer version, and it should actually be pretty much the same. So right here, again, I already loaded up my games, but if you see and scroll down, you will see that Animal Crossing is right here. Right click it and if you want to use the PCAT saves and this is really useful if you want to have the seasonal events you can do this and paste the saves right there. So right here are your PCAT saves and this is really important for the uh, Easter saves or whatever and if you want to do that so you can do so right there and add those it's not really DLC but those updates. And for the device save here's where your save files are stored so paste the files we just copied and then you can continue on to Ryu Jinx. So now to check all the settings that they are right, go to settings. There isn't that much to change here. For the inputs, again, you can use the inputs, you can use dock mode and that should be fine. For system, you can do this right here as it is. For the graphics right here, you can select a high resolution. For me, 720p or 1080p is just fine. But if you got a better monitor, you could go all the way up to 4x for the full 4K experience. For the logging, if it works absolutely great and if you're confident that it will work, you can disable this. You might get a small performance boost. So it might be up to you. For me, right now, I am going to keep them enabled. Let's click save. And now to install the, the, the updates and maybe DLCs. Again, right click and here go to manage title updates or manage DLC, whichever one you want to add. For me, I'm going to add a title update. Click add and here scroll to where you store your rooms. So for me, this is the update 1.5.1. Open it up and simply click save and it should work. So right now, if we double click, it will boot up. But first, I'm going to show you how to do this in multiplayer. So for this, we got a, another build and this is the multiplayer build. Performance might be a bit better or a bit worse, probably better on the latest build. But the multiplayer build, of course, has multiplayer, which is awesome. So right now I didn't set it up yet, so let's do that real quick. And right here we are going to multiplayer. For the mode, you can select this to Ryu Jinx LDN for local multiplayer. And if you have a really old director, or if it doesn't work in general, you can enable the peer-to-peer -peer network. For most routers and stuff, this is not needed, so first try it out. 
Here you can select your username and this is what will appear. So for me, it might be tech dunk or something. And for the network passphrase, if you have this, And as you can see right here, it also works in Ryujinx. And again, as you can see, because the shader stutters are quite bad, it might be better if you want to use just the local version to use Yuzu. But if your system is fast enough and if you've loaded all the shaders, both should actually be pretty damn good. But for me, I prefer Yuzu unless I play online. So it is again, for the last time, it is up to you. You need to decide for yourself. If your system is fast enough or if you're I wouldn't call it lucky, but it sometimes just works better. Yuzu is also a great version because, of course, you have the resolution scaling online, which is pretty cool. But you can say N Oracle Sync New Horizon is running on both of the emulators, which is amazing. And I really hope you enjoyed this guide. And if you did, of course, make sure to let me know by dropping a like down below. Subscribe for more. If you got any issues, you can let me know on Discord, Twitter. Instagram or any other social media or of course in the comments below. I will try to help out anyone. Note that I cannot link any pirated content because hey, that's illegal. But again, thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.